Despite being a brief period, the Pliocene witnessed incredible events, such as the drying of the Mediterranean, the formation of ice caps, and the uniting of the American countries. The construction of a land bridge connecting South and North America over the Isthmus of Panama had a significant impact on the fauna of both continents. Many animals from North America invaded the southern continent, while a few from South America went north. Tectonic movements in the Pliocene era The Himalayas were created by the collision of the tectonic plates of Asia and India during the Pliocene era. There was tectonic activity in the Great Basin ranges of Utah and Nevada, and in the mountains of Alaska. The Rockies, the Appalachians, the Cascades, and the Colorado Plateau were uplifted in North America. The Alps are one of the numerous mountain ranges that grew in Europe and were thrust and folded. Terrestrial and Marine Deposits Pliocene and Miocene deposits are compared to European sedimentary exposures. Paleontologists date their rocks by comparing them to certain European standards or type sites in the same way that we set our clocks to the time in Greenwich, England. These types of locations are marine, with a lot of seashells and other fossil species from ancient waters. There are Pliocene marine and terrestrial deposits all throughout the world. Early Pliocene maritime deposits, for example, are widely known from the Mediterranean region, whereas late Pliocene marine sediments can be found in the United Kingdom and North America's Atlantic coastal plain. Pliocene terrestrial deposits can also be found in India and Pakistan's Siwalik Range, as well as in China's Shanxi and Henan provinces. Pieces of evidence of the climate in the Pliocene era Plant and tree remains show that Pliocene habitats were usually hotter and drier than those of previous eras. However, marine data suggest that a time around 3.0 to 3.5 million years ago may have been a comparatively warm period at least in the North Atlantic. Terrestrial animal faunas Pliocene terrestrial animal faunas in the Northern Hemisphere appear to be pretty recent by appearance. During the preceding Miocene epoch, older animal groups went extinct. Although there are similarities between the faunas of North America and Eurasia, there appears to have been minimal faunal interaction between the two regions. The similarities are most likely owing to their taxonomic group that continued to move between the two locations late in the Miocene. Evolution of advanced primates and mammals In the Pliocene, increasingly advanced primates continued to evolve, with the first human-like creatures, Australopithecines, arriving early in the epoch. Around 2.5 million years ago, near the Pliocene-Pleistocene boundary, a burst of particularly rapid change in evolution and primates' diversification, as well as other mammals in Africa occurred, possibly linked to drying associated with the expansion of Northern Hemisphere, glaciers at the time. During the Pliocene, mastodons, elephant-like mammals, underwent a tremendous deal of evolutionary diversification, and several variant forms emerged, each adapted to a different ecological context. Rhinoceroses became extinct in North America. Camels as well as horses were quite huge, plentiful and of varying species. Giant sloths, porcupines and armadillos are among the South American creatures that started to appear in North America. The Pliocene also saw the emergence of the current species Equus. In conclusion, the tremendous modernization of mammals characterizes this age biogeographically. Many of the existing genera, as well as all of the currently existent orders and families, may be traced back to the Pliocene. Variations in oceanic nutrient sources in the region, as well as temperature, have been blamed for the alterations. During the late Pliocene era, marine faunas in the Caribbean and West Atlantic, including predatory gastropods, corals, and others, underwent a period of transition with many species going extinct and others arriving for the first time. Please like the video if you found the content interesting, and subscribe to our channel Explified.